The featured product in this video is dill pickles. Stick around to the end and find out how you can get a jar. So this is what I'm starting out with this week. These are the cucumbers I've collected all week. Kept them in the crisper drawer there and kept them in the refrigerator. So now I'm going to get them washed up and I'm going to make dill pickles. I don't particularly care for dill pickles, but I have so many sweet pickles, I figured I better make some dill pickles. So I'm going to get started and I'll bring you along step by step. Alright, I got all those cucumbers cut up, got them in these Ziploc bags. Now I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in each bag, shake up the bag. And that will draw the water out of the cucumbers to hopefully make the pickles a little more crisp. Normally I would not do this. To me this is kind of a, an extra step. But the world likes crispy dill pickles. So I want to try to follow the rules of the world. And try to do everything I can do to make them crispy. Alright so... I'll bring you back when we see how much water the salt has drawn out of those cucumbers. Alright, while the salt is sucking the water out of the cucumbers, I got them in the refrigerator. I'm going to start getting some of my jars ready. And I've watched a lot of YouTube and looked at a lot of recipes. And what I've decided to do is... In each jar, I'm going to put one of these dill pickle or dill flowers in the bottom of the jar. I'm going to put one clove of garlic and probably about a quarter teaspoon of this crushed red pepper. There's all kinds of dill pickles. Um, some of what they call a, a new pickle which is just uh, near as I can see vinegar and water and pickle the cucumber and, and put it in the refrigerator to you know processing cucumbers with nothing more than vinegar and water and then after that anything goes and since I'm not really crazy about plain old dill pickles what I do like I do like really flavorful food so I'm making these dill pickles with a couple extra ingredients to uh, jazz them up a little bit. And I'm also using apple cider vinegar instead of plain vinegar, white vinegar, just to um, give it a little more complex flavor. So I want to start working on these jars and um, we'll bring you back and see how that water's coming out of them cucumbers. All right, see you later. All right, so I got the uh, head of dill in there, a quarter teaspoon of the red pepper flakes, and one clove of garlic. I really kind of crushed that garlic up pretty good because I want to make sure the garlic gets into the pickles. I don't want to leave those cloves whole and just make pickled garlic. So against my rules of doing extra ingredients and extra steps and labor that didn't take me very long didn't cost me much money and I, I'm happy way it's going. So when the cucumbers are ready I'm gonna rinse them off real good put them in there pack them in there real nice and then I'm gonna put one more dill flour on the top before I process them. So I'll bring you back when the cucumbers are ready. I think I'm going to go ahead and get another five jars ready. Remember I can do five jars at a time with the carry. So I'm going to go ahead and get five more jars ready. Going good. Dill pickles 101. Alright, can you see how much water is in that bag? I guess maybe I have a different 
appreciation for doing this stuff you can actually do it overnight this has been three hours so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, drain it rinse them off get the salt off as much as you can and go ahead and start getting them in the jar all right I'll bring you back later all right so I got, I got those five jars filled up so uh, I got my brine going uh, the brine I'm using now is two parts apple cider vinegar and one part water so this is going to be a more vinegary tasting pickle than your bread and butter pickle your sweet pickles All right. and what I'm going to do now I'm going to take this big old can you see that good there you go big old uh, dill flower head here I guess you'd call it and I'm going to cut those little flower ets off and put in there since this flower is so big I can't stick it in the jar and uh, get a little extra dill going in there okay I'll bring it back alright I got those five jars all filled up at the tops on I'm going to put eight cups of warm water tap water in there the brine was warm and then I'm going to start the water bath process I'll bring you back when I do that Cannon pickles dill pickles 101 alright I got the water in there I said I was going to put eight cups of water in there but um, I was wrong you got to cover the jars so now all I got to do is close her up press water bath press time and if it comes to a boil it's only 10 minutes and make sure this is on vent it's not it's airtight that's for pressure cannon so I'm going to put it on, on exhaust right there that's right there it's exhaust press start all right I'm going to get the next batch ready while well, that's uh, coming up to temp it'll take a little while it's the first batch all right so I'll bring you back all right there's my first batch of dill pickles First dill pickles I've ever made in my life. How do they look? Get that little bit of garlic in there. Look good. Gotta let them sit for a good week before I try them. So we'll get these out. And I got four more jars to put in there. And uh, we'll be done with that project. All right. All right. I got the last batch of dill pickles in there. I got three more minutes to go. So while that was happening, I decided to go ahead and I learned about this. This is just red skin potatoes cut up. And I, I really kind of thought more of this more this is more as a, of a comfort food uh, when I ate the potatoes in those brats that I canned up I just love them and I don't eat very much carbohydrates or starchy vegetables at all so I just thought this seemed like a really heck of an idea so it's just the cut up red potatoes with got some salt in there some basil garlic and parsley and this has got to go in the pressure cooker for 40 minutes so I'm going to go ahead and get hot water in there and when the last of those dill pickles come out I'm going to put these in there for 40 minutes and we're going to have some real good red skin potatoes all right there's the last of the pickles and get them out and then we're going to get these red skin potatoes in there. 
got the instruction book so I can make sure I get that high pressure right. I still don't have that committed to memory and that's serious stuff so I got to look at the book to do that right. Alright I got the potatoes in there. I got the vent on exhaust. I set the timer for 40 minutes. Got it on high pressure. It's going to do that until it builds up pressure and then it's going to start the cook time for 40 minutes and I got to shut that off uh, I got to shut that exhaust off make it airtight so it'll pressure cook for 40 minutes cooking potatoes all right folks so something else I'm going to do today is I'm going to can up another batch of these beans and I was watching on YouTube about pre-soaking them and that right there all that foam is the beans releasing gas so I guess I don't have to tell you what that means so uh, I'm gonna wash these up a little bit more and sort them rinse them out real good and I'm gonna get five jars ready and uh, put some peppers and onion in it I think that's all and get a batch of them going first thing this morning it'll take a little time and well what because I got a pressure can them for 40 minutes so that'll give me time to get some other things in order I can get this together pretty quick pretty easy and get them in the carry all right I'll be back with you when we got more going on all right, I got these uh, beans ready. So I put one piece of onion in the bottom. Then I cut up one pepper. This one's got a jalapeno pepper in it. Then I put in three quarters of a cup of beans. They're soaked, so they're swollen up a lot more than the last time I already did it. And I put another pepper, another piece of onion. And then on the top, I put uh, a scant eighth of a teaspoon of salt and then an uh, eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper so remember for recovery you can do what you want you know use your imagination and go with some flavor try something try something different I know I'm gonna like these I mean I like you know slightly hot food this is not gonna be screaming hot and uh, I'm gonna get the top. I gotta fill them up with uh, water right up there to that one inch mark and uh, get them in the carry. And that, that'll be a couple hours while I'm cleaning up my mess and figuring out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day here. All right, so I'll bring you back when I got something else going on. All right. I got the beans all in here, filled up with water, one inch head space. I got eight cups, fill them up with hot tap water. Got hot, eight cups of hot tap water in the carry. Close the lid. Try to do this by memory now. So I'm gonna press high pressure time it's going to be 40 minutes make sure this is vented exhaust yes it is press start there we go all right I'll bring it back when I got it done all right this is going to be my breakfast I got the bacon going and I'm going to slice up a little bit of these potatoes I made yesterday and make some home fries out of them. Put some eggs in there. Uh, bring you back when I got it done. You ready for this? Voila! Bacon, eggs, a couple little home fries, and I cut up a little banana pepper got it in there mmm I wish you could smell it good morning folks it's 
Monday morning. Time to do my inventory to see what I got canned up this weekend. Starting out with the first time ever I made dill pickles. I got plenty of sweet pickles, so I figured I went ahead would go ahead and try and make some dill pickles. Like I said it before, I really I don't, I don't like dill pickles as much as sweet pickles. So I really tried to jazz them up and make them as flavorful as I could. So you can see in the bottom here, you can see the dill, you can see the red pepper flakes, the garlic, piece of garlic there. I used apple cider vinegar instead of just white vinegar just to really enhance the flavor palette and jazz them up as much as I can. So I'll give these a couple more days and I'll give them a try. And here I got I made a batch uh, another batch of potatoes. I, there's only four jars there because I opened one and um, what I really discovered was they need salt and uh, but I fried some up and had it with my breakfast it's uh, still good good deal here I got uh, I made first batch of uh, I made bean soup and uh, as little water as possible. All I got to do is put that in the saucepan with uh, some ham, and I'll be good to go. All right, coming down here, I made another batch of uh, potatoes, and uh, adjusted the recipe a little bit. There's another batch of beans that I got. This time when I made beans, this is only the second time I've done it, I soaked the beans, and that gets the gas out of the beans. So this is what I think I really prefer. There's a whole lot less water. I really not, I don't like to can water. There's no sense of canning water. I'm not living in a desert. So um, this has got a lot less water in it. But you can see the red pepper flakes. I don't even remember what else I put in there. Probably some garlic and uh, jazzed them up. Onions. So happy with them. And then I finished up with four quarts of sweet pickles. So. Uh, ended up with 27 jars and I added up my total so far this year 103 jars I've, I've made and you know, I got a long ways to go here in the canning season but I'm very happy so my next problem is I gotta really start storing them I really kind of take it over my wife's kitchen and she's been as patient with me as possible but I'm just plain running out of room I gotta start stashing these under the cupboard and so I can still have room to work and give my wife her kitchen back there's my dill makes a nice fragrance in the house so that's what I got done cannon with the carry things are looking good and now I gotta kind of start working on eating out of this stuff a little bit really seeing what I got what I want to change and how I like doing it all right we'll see you next weekend we'll gather up stuff throughout the week and be ready to can it all right for you to get a jar you have to watch this whole video and be a local person that knows me and leave a comment that you want a jar of dill pickles and we will make arrangements to get it to you all right thanks for watching